Okay, hello everyone. Once again, I'm Smay Dolaner, studying molecular biology and genetics at Bahçeşehir University in Turkey. I'm working as an undergraduate research assistant in a cancer biology laboratory. And until now, I studied non-small cell lung carcinoma and pancreatic cancer in the wet lab, focusing on cell cycle, EMT mechanism, and metastasis, and also chronic lymphocytic leukemia in the dry lab with the experience with Pine Biotech. Um, actually, my knowledge of bioinformatics and computational biology was very limited, and that's why I wanted to improve myself in this field, because as you know, as a scientist, we need to be able to see the big picture as much as the small details. So in order to do this, we should have the knowledge of the big data science and need to learn how to process and analyze high throughput data. So while I was looking for an opportunity to gain experience and knowledge, I came across the Pine Biotech Fellowship Program and enrolled as an intern for three months. During this period, I took several online courses about omics technologies and machine learning, which was a great environment to learn and practice with hands-on assignments. Moreover, there were several quizzes for each course in order to evaluate ourselves and repeat the information. So I can say that courses were very helpful for me because it was starting with the basic information and continuing by increasing the complexity. Also, I had the opportunity to participate in webinars like this one, and these were very beneficial because it was increasing my curiosity for the upcoming details. So one of the best sides of this program was to have weekly meetings with our mentors and other participants. Each week we were sharing our progress, asking our questions and discussing them together. It was a really positive environment to learn and discuss the topics. Additionally, when I needed anything anytime, I could be able to contact and, and get uh, guidance from my advisors immediately without waiting uh, for the weekly meetings. Furthermore, there were two huge opportunities that I can benefit from. Uh, the first one is the T-BioInfo server, which is the platform that we are using for processing and analyzing the data. And it's very really user-friendly that even with a little knowledge, you can learn and practice with it step by step. And the second one is the Codomics Logic Platform. Actually, coding was very hard and complex for me, but this platform explains and shows the coding with very basic steps. So even though I had some difficulties, it, it made coding more enjoyable for me. So my favorite part of this program was to have an individual project, which was the place to show our knowledge and the practices. So like the theory needed to become practical, it was a great opportunity to come up with a hypothesis and develop the answers over time. So nearly within two months, I completed a project titled Identification of Link RNAs as Therapeutic Targets in Chronic Lymphocytic Leukemia. So my main goal was to identify possible therapeutic targets in order to be able to trigger the spontaneous regression mechanism, which is the disappearance of the tumor over time with or without any treatment in different cancer types. For this, I used an RNA-seq data set from a bio project that can be found in CBI. Basically, with the help of the TBioInfo server, I conducted transcriptomics analysis by comparing spontaneous regression and the progressive state of chronic lymphocytic leukemia. I determined differentially expressed genes among two groups by differential gene expression analysis and identified significant genes through statistical analysis. Consequently, significant protein coding genes were correlated with RNA-related pathways. Therefore, I investigated the non-coding genes and found highly expressed 33 link RNAs. With further analysis, I identified three significant link RNAs that can be important in regression mechanism and can be used as therapeutic targets. But of course, if these findings are conf confirmed by additional studies, we can say that uh, these uh, found uh, link RNAs can be used as therapeutic targets. So my research revealed new perspectives regarding spontaneous regression and its association with link RNAs. In final words, this research fellowship program enabled me to master the field of bioinformatics more than I thought. And in my new project, I definitely plan to use high throughput data and perform more comprehensive studies. 
And once again, thank you to the Pine Biotech team for this wonderful environment. Thank you.